Okay, guys, I just uh, did the research I, and I found that the default IP address is 182.168.1.2. Um, yeah, 1.245. Uh, and I assign IP manually. So this is how you can troubleshoot and figure out. Because most of the access point does not provide DCP, if you remember, with the previous lecture, we say that access point, if you see some of the access point, it provides DCP, but technically access point does not need to provide a DCP because access point is just access point. We want that access point to just broadcast the frequency to the coverage, that to the place where there is a less coverage of the internet or Wi-Fi. All right, so you have to do the Google if you know the serial number or this, uh, the, yep, the, if, you, if you know the model number and so on, you can find the username and password. So far, the username is Cisco and the password is also Cisco for this device. So this is a, a WAP uh, 500, we can say 61. So let's click next. This access point setup wizard, click next. So we're gonna say that, yes, we'll keep the same IP. So dynamic IP address, this is the dynamic IP address. The default gateway is this one. If you want to change it to static, you can change the static as well. And I would say let's keep it dynamic, whatever it is, because I'm happy so far. Click next. Uh, so there's a question. So create a new cluster, join an existing cluster. Do not enable single point setup. So in here, I will say do not, uh, we can say do not enable single point setup. So join an existing cluster. If I click this one, so if I have any access point, so there's a kind of repeater or bridge we can say in here. Or create a new cluster. If I create a new cluster in here, so here's the thing, the location is this one. Now, if I have a similar access point, in order to have this almost similar coverage, for the next access point, I will click this one, join an existing cluster. So create a cluster, join an existing cluster. As like, I want to expand the, the coverage of the signal. So this is the main concept. Do not enable single point setup. I will say do not. This is just, I just want to keep it as a access point. So you have to find out in which place you are and network time protocol. And I will say it's just keep it automatically from that specific place. Click next. What is the old password? The old password is Cisco. And admin at one, two, three, four as a new password. So does it say it's very weak? Admin at one, two, three, four. It's fine. Click next, new password, and confirm is not okay. Oh, I have typed the new password. I see. Click next. So the SSID should be uh, power over Ethernet access point. Access point. Remember that. Guys, what I'm going to do is in the down description, I will share the full details of what is power over Ethernet and what is the purpose of power over Ethernet and the down description. That's going to be my YouTube channel. I explain everything with more details. Please have a look at that one as well. That will be better to, to get the concept of the power over Ethernet. I think that's that's a good thing to know. Power over Ethernet, access point, click next. What is the password? In here, I would say advanced enterprise standard. Let's say ABC at 123. I will keep the, the password of the access point, ABC at 123. VLAN, virtual local internet network. So if you're a technical person, here's the thing. If you, if you forgot and if you just want to make sure that what is VLAN 1, remember that the VLAN 1 is the default VLAN with almost every network devices. That is why it's scary if you use the VLAN 1 for any purpose. So try to make sure not use VLAN 1. In this scenario, we're using VLAN 1, but that was a security purpose. Click next. Um, oh, we have a radio 2. It's a dual band, guys. Remember that? There's a direction, band and access point. 
it is a dual radio band which is great in here we can say a power power ethernet access point um, two or can say r2 let's say properly r2 like radio frequency 2 click next and in here um, we have to type the same password it is almost for the router uh, for radio frequency six second keep billion one yeah in here say do you want to create your guest network now say yes let's 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 see how we can create this a uh, guest network i say i just need only for um power over uh, sorry power over ethernet guest um access point what is it? access what is access point um i guess say access point and then guest this is for guest this is very secure all right so in here for guests we will say welcome guys this is the password welcome guys click next i will keep the same vlan i will not redirect to interface so in here it says if you redirect to any interface like in order to confirm like a kind of agreement if you guys remember in hotel and some restaurant you need to have some agreement i will say no click next and then here is the summary submit this was the brief uh, configuration of we can see w p w a p 561 finish allow me to log into one of this access point and see what's gonna happen we do PoE power over the net access point, PoE power over the net access point case, PoE power over the net access point, R2, or we can say radio frequency second. Let's connect the first one. So the password was ABC at 1, 2, 3, 4. Click. There you go. Guys, if you notice here, my access point is connect to the internet and i am able to access internet and that is a beautiful thing all right guys i hope the information was very helpful let's see what we have in the next lecture see you guys there